anything, can you uh, just try to ignore this? I know it's big and all, but just uh, can you say and spell your name for me? Ricardo, R I C A R D O. Uh huh. Chavez. What else? Okay. Um, so, where are you from? I'm from Bernalillo. This is my second year walking over here. Yeah. I'm trying to make it because I made a promise. And I like to keep my promise because God's a big thing for me. And I like church. And Jesus helped us all out. So this is our promise I got to keep. So. And why'd you make the promise? For my family to get healthy because everybody, my auntie went to the hospital, my uncle just got big. And just a big thing for me. Go finish what I started. Mm -hmm. So. That's good. So how many, uh, how long have you been walking today? Today is an hour and a half I've been walking. Mm -hmm. And what I, about yesterday? Yesterday I walked all day to the, up there. Then tonight I should be finished by midnight. Yeah. Second year, you gonna do it next year? Uh, I think so. I'm gonna finish, do it again, cause it's it's pretty nice walking. I gotta admit it. Yeah. The fresh air. Last year, when I was walking, yeah, there's more people behind us and in front of us. So this year, like, not that much people I've seen walking. A couple of people, but not as much as last year. Yeah. Okay, anything else? Anybody else you're walking for or anything? No, just my family, my friends, and the health. Yeah. Okay. Uh, where, where are you guys? Are you coming from uh, Bernalillo as well? Yeah, Bernalillo. Yeah. Just hanging out with my friend Ricky. Is this your first year? Yeah, I'm walking with so him. Far? It's pretty nice. Get to see the world. <laughs> mm -hmm. Make you uh, not take for granted driving up there. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. That's proud of you, right? <laughs> okay. Uh, what's your name? Alex Lopez. A L E X. A L E P Z. Yeah. And you're from Bernalillo as well. Yeah. Okay. Cool. What about you, buddy? Uh, hi. My name is Eduardo Bañuelos. Uh, well, I'm from Bernalillo as well. First year walking. Uh, it's pretty nice, actually. Yeah. I like the fresh air. Just. Pretty nice walking around. What, who are you and walking for this year? I'm anybody in, uh, anybody in particular? I'm walking for my grandmother because she passed away and I promised that I ought to walk for her. So, yeah. Cool. Just keeping my promise and walking. Nice. Um, and you're all from Bernalillo? Or? your name for me? Robert Schilling, S-H-I-L-L-I-N-G. Okay, and where are you from? I'm from Santa Fe. Okay. Uh, this is your first year out here? It is. First first time I've ever done this. And uh, when did you get started? Uh, we've been on the road about three and a half hours now. We started at Capitol High School in Santa Fe. Okay. Uh, when do you expect to arrive? We're hoping a little after midnight, two, three in the morning maybe, depending on how many times we stop. Uh, the guys in front of us are the first ones we've seen so far. Yeah. So. Yeah, it looks like it might be picking up a little on the stretch right Yeah, I think so. so. Uh, okay, that's pretty much it. All right.
Journey before. Yes, uh, many times. Probably about oh, 23, 24 oh, times. Really? But so, what is so touching about it that brings you back to it every year? Well, I got hooked on it uh, with a friend of mine when I was probably in my tw late 20s, 30s, and he told he dared me to come. And from there, I just uh, I just kept going, and it's just one of those things. I guess you get hooked on it. What's, what's so hooking about it? What's the uh, about it? What's appealing? What do you get out of that? Um, I guess it's your faith, that just in trusting God that you can do it. And He gets you through it. There are there any moments along the journey where your back hurts, your feet hurt? Yes, the uh, feet, the back, sometimes your knees, sometimes you have a muscle uh, that starts acting up and you're wondering, is it going to keep keep acting up and keep you from your journey, but you just uh, take it easy and slow down and do what you have to do. So why don't you just turn back and go home and ice your feet? Well, well, why, don't, why do you choose to keep it going forward? Um, I, I don't know, just my faith, I guess. I just have to. I just have to. It's one of those things that's it's hard to explain. When you're inside this church and you're actually inside and you are looking at the cross and you're feeling the soil with your own fingers, what is that like? Just uh, a deep, rich, emotional feeling. Just, it's hard to describe. It's, it's a deep feeling. Thank you so much. You're very what welcome. What is your name? Uh, Dan Tabbitt. How do you spell that? T-A-B-E-T. Uh, -E and Dan, common spelling D-A-N? D-A-N, yeah. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Best of luck to you. Welcome. Your first year, Dan? You want us to come over? Yeah, you can just bring them come over. Come on over here, guys. we got like 10 minutes, right? Oh, to use this mic, you mean? H-N, D-A-L-T-O-N. All right, so tell me where you started, um, or what time you started. And around two. Around two, all right. So what, what, why do you do it? What, what's up with this? What's the point? I don't really know. Don't really know? All right, well, how was the journey for you? Interesting. Elaborate. I don't know that word. Okay. Why was it interesting? I don't really know. I just find random things interesting. Yeah, okay. So once you get here and you see this and you go inside, what was that like? Mm, quiet. What'd you do when you're inside? Pray. What'd you pray for? 
or maybe it's personal. That's okay. Yes. So when you go, well, if somebody hasn't been in yet, I don't think Dave's been in yet, so can you tell him, like, you know, what is it like inside? What are people doing, and what is on the walls, and what's um, on the ground? What are people doing? They're praying, collecting the sacred dirt. Well, thank you so much. Glad you had a great time. And you, Missy, you are all bundled up. You cold? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, what did what was if some if your friend were to call you on the phone and say, "Hey, what'd you do this morning?" What would you tell her? I'd tell her I'd be being a zombie, <laughs> walking, <laughs> walking. Walking all the way to Chimayo. You were a zombie. <laughs> it was the middle of the night. Yeah. Were there a lot of people on the road? Okay, so like, what? How would you describe if someone was driving by, if your friend's driving by and says, "What? What? What? What were the roads like? Were there lots of people? What were they doing? What? Were, what was that like?" Um, there were a lot of people around. And it was mostly crowded, and we always found in, like, every minute a car passed. Yeah. When you first got here, what did you think when you first saw the church? Cool. It looks cool. <laughs> yeah, well, thank you, sweetie. What's your name? Isabel Dalton. How do you spell Isabel? I S A B E L. High five. You go, girl. Can we ask you a question as well, Mom? Um, okay. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> Ooh, sorry, this piece of equipment just fell. So, um, have you done this before? Uh huh. This is my third time. Your third time? Mm -hmm. with, my, with my father. And um, nice. we're here with a group from my stepmother's church in Albuquerque. So you're here with your dad and your kids. That must be really a nice dynamic, something that was passed down to you and now you're passing down to your kids. Absolutely. So, so why is that something that's so important? Why is this something you want to make sure you're doing with your children? Um, well, it's, um, it's part of our faith journey, but it's also part of our culture. Um, and one of the things I was talking about to them as we were walking up here was that our, our families have walked through this valley for hundreds of years and um, they're part of that now too and coming here and um, uh, spending time with family doing this is important, uh, an important part of our Holy Week celebration. Very nice. Well, what, what is it like for you to, to actually go inside? You know, Someone might say, it's a church, there are lots of churches, but, but what is it about this one, about this whole experience? There's a quality, okay. Oh, there's a quality of homecoming, um, but there's there's something very special too about um, coming to to any sacred place by pilgrimage, by um, by an intentional journey where um, where you make sacrifices and you know the the ten or so miles we walked was a small sacrifice, uh, but it gives us time to to think um, and to be quiet, um, and particularly when, when we do it in the, in the wee hours of the morning. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Two minutes. Thank you so much. I want to write down your name. So what brought you to New Mexico? Uh, just I watched a movie called The Silver Streak. Shy, sure. And Gene Wilder and Richard Pryor get thrown off the train. Have you seen it? No. It's an old movie from the 70s. And when they jumped off the train, I thought they must be on the moon or something. So I said, I've got to see that place. Oh, wow. Came here, and then they call it the land of enchantment, and it is truly enchanting and beautiful. So, so many things you love about it. Is this on the list? This experience? Oh, here? this here? 
well, this this uh, pilgrimage, absolutely. But this church is very special too, and I've it's the, the one place I make sure I bring visitors to when they come to New Mexico. What is it like though? It's one thing to come on, you know, a Wednesday in July, but but what is it like being here on Good Friday after being up all night with this intention? When you, when you first came and saw it, what, what was that moment like? Surreal. When I when I saw the church and the sun when I when I went to mass last night <clears throat> playing in the choir it was daylight then we walked from nine o'clock from Santa Fe a group of six of us and walked cross country through the pueblo with the with the moon and it was just so beautiful and when I got here it was it was just kind of unbelievable that wow I just walked all night and here I am in this wonderful healing beautiful high energy, peaceful, wonderful spot. You, know, you think, all right, we all go for walks, we go for hikes, that's what we do in New Mexico, sure, we hike. Sure. But, but this is different, this walk, was there something that carried you along? Well, it's, it's, there's a mass consciousness that goes along with it when you realize that there are thousands of people doing, ex even though we weren't, there was nobody with us, even, but we know that there's all these other people that are doing the same thing, praying for their intentions. Um, Japan's been very heavy on my mind lately. I have a lot of friends that live there and uh, family, and it's like, it's, uh, it's, it's just every person in my life that I have to thank or, or feel uh, that I can help them through some kind of suffering. It, it just, throughout the night, kept coming into my mind. and. Um, yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah, I'm a little delirious because I haven't slept. I haven't pulled an all-nighter since college. Yeah, about. <laughs> Thank you so much. What is your name? Tom. How do you spell that? I spell mine T O M. <laughs> you never know. There could be like a T Y M E. Yeah. Well, my there. well, my friends call me Saint Thomas. Oh, they and do. I'm very humbled by it, but. Um, That's quite an honor. Well, it is, and I went to uh, the St. Thomas Island to see oh, why they named yes. the island after me. And? And uh, it's a beautiful place. It is, and, I've been and there. And I'm very comfortable there. So. Good. Last name? Berkus. How do you spell that? B-E-R-K-E-S. Tom, how's your name? Sweet week, Andrew. Jeez. How are Great. 30. That sounds like you. <laughs> that sounds like about oh, 200 people. Yeah. Thank <laughs> you. 
to be that we drove, you know, when we were younger, I'm 85 and my wife just turned 82, and she's a very dedicated Catholic. She's taught catechism at St. Bernadette's and Bible, and now she, she runs a prayer group there every morning, every day at Saint, the Shrine of St. Bernadette's. That's why you're a Fighting Irish fan. Absolutely. <laughs> so Catholic. you've been coming here for quite a few years? Oh. Uh, Quite a few, yes. I would say about, uh, well, I'm 85. I must have been about 35 or 40 when I started coming out here, probably even earlier than that, intermittently, you know. But now it's every year. It's a special occasion for our family. Our daughter and, and, and grandson and son-in-law brought us over. Nice. And so... Um, so let me ask you, 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 you know about the, the healing aspects of it? Yes, family. I do. I'm aware of all of this. You believe? Yeah and have faith in that. I believe in that. I believe that there's a Holy Spirit that exists throughout the world and throughout the galaxies. Everything around belongs to God. What do you think about people who have aches and pains and come here and rub the soil on their bodies? Do you believe that that can help someone? And I believe it does to a certain extent. It gives them faith to try to heal, you know, and they continue and they eventually get rid of it. And perhaps maybe just get a slight blessing you know, and it's a, you know, it's 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 the person's faith that carries them through this sort of thing. Is it special to know that you can have faith in something like this? If you are suffering from an illness or some pain, is it comforting? When you believe there's a God, you believe that something like that exists for the human being. That's it. All right. Well, thank you. What is your, your name? William Perea. How do you spell that? P E R E A. All right. And my William. wife is Esmeralda. Hi. And Can we ask you a quick question? Uh -huh. Would that be okay? Yes. All right. So, so this is an annual tradition for you. Oh yes. Uh huh. It, this yeah. is a special experience. Mm -hmm. How come? Well, we started with our grandparents. We were raised with a grandma, and she used to go to church every day, and we do that still. And we used to come over here every Holy Friday, you know, to 
to pray. So you started coming with your grandparents. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. And now, yeah. do you have grandchildren? Oh, yes, we have eight. And do they come with you now? Sometimes, yeah. So our what oldest, a nice cycle. Our oldest yeah. daughter is here with us and her husband. Wonderful, good. So w what is? what do you think there is special specifically about the healing power of this place? When people come when they have an ache or don't feel well, what do you think about that? Well, people, now that we're walking through there, people are walking out with that holy sand, you know? Mm -hmm. And we have some sand sex of him, uh, of the sand at home. Yes. And it helps, it helps. We put it on there, you know, and, and put on a stocking and... How does it help? Why do you think it helps? I think God, you know? Being that you're like we, we go, like we go to church every day, receive Holy Communion, you know, and that Holy Spirit is there, you know, and it's the same way over here. What would you say if someone said, it's just dirt, there's nothing special to oh, it? Oh, no, uh -uh, no. This is because this is, look where they get it from, clear under, you know, heaven knows how many feet of, pe of sand people dig and get it, you know? That's wonderful. Thank you so sure, much. Sure, sure, sure. And what is your name? Esmeralda. How do you spell that? It's E-S-M-E-R-A-L-D-A. And same last name? Perea, yeah. Yeah, yeah they call it, the church, they call us Jim uh, Quasimodo and the Esmeralda. From um, Holy Dirt. And so where is it from? From the church. So what's so special about that Holy Dirt? It's from God. Yeah. You're gonna keep it? What are you gonna do with it? I'm gonna put it in my room. Yeah. So what do you know about that dirt? Did anyone tell you anything special about it? No? Why do you wanna keep it and put it in your room? Because <laughs> it looks cool. Yeah, it does look cool. Well thanks, Angel. Can I get a picture? Can you show me? Yeah, Can you show sure. me what it says on there? Wow. You're very lucky. You are very, very lucky. I know. Chavez. How do you spell that? Y M A N D A. Okay, I'm trying to block, make oh, myself not have a shadow on your face. Hi. Um, and last name? Chavez. C H A V E Z. Okay, cool. So you walk. Yeah. You're hardcore. <laughs> How it seems, was it? Okay. It was good. Yeah. It was it was long, but it's nice to start early and get here before all the crowd comes in and stuff. So I want to talk about this this dirt for a second. I mean, it, <coughs> it obviously has this very very rich history. Uh huh. Um, do you believe in it, and what do you believe about you it? You know, I do. The reason why we've been coming is um, it started a tradition with my uncles. My cousin was diagnosed with cancer when he was a baby, and they found out this place had some kind of healing essence to it, I guess. So every year he was not supposed to live past a toddler and now he's married with kids and just something we've made a, um, a routine of doing, I guess. It's a tradition. So does that make you a believer when you see something like that, something you can call a miracle, a child who is so sick and yet survives and overcomes that? I do. I really do. And then the fact that the whole family comes and, you know, we're all healthy and everybody's kids are healthy and we just come to give thanks. Is your cousin here? Um, I believe he should be, yes. Everyone, we have a big uh, gathering in the parking lot. <laughs> is, is that so comforting to know that there is that belief, that, that having that faith in something that just because you, you are ill, it doesn't mean there isn't a chance. It, it, what is that? I think it just gives people the hope of knowing they can get better or even just the thanks of, you know, I'm not 100% better, but I'm still here and I'm still able to come and do it, you know, and we're all together and stuff and we just come to give thanks and that's the belief we need, I guess. Thank you so much. Sure. You're awesome. <laughs> um, these things right here. So why is it cool to have this this holy dirt? What, what's so cool about that? I tried. That it's from our Father Lord. Yeah. You gonna take that home with you? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Very cool. Good night and.
hold these items in my hand. Did you have a good morning? Yeah, she did. Yeah, it's a real nice, perfect day. You walk far? Well, from Nambe. Oh, yeah. Wow. Go home and take a nap. <laughs> Awesome. So where you coming from? Santa Fe. Holy mother, we're coming from Espanola. I like your shirt. Thank you. I'm diehard. Awesome. The new hats, bro. <laughs> What's that? The new hats. Oh, that's good, huh? Cool. You know, you see all these people and they're walking, but, but why is it that you chose to to not only walk and do this pilgrimage, but also carry the cross with you? I would just came to sacrifice myself like God did. You know what I mean? So you say it was pretty tough. Yeah, it was pretty tough. Did you, did you think about what you're carrying when those moments got really hard? Oh yeah. How, sure. So what did you think about? I uh, thought a lot. Thought about a lot, man. It's just real hard not to come up, and do this. You proud of yourself? Yeah, I'm real proud of myself. We made it, me and my nephew, you know. Especially carrying the cross, man. That is really something. Well, let me ask you this. Um, you know, this place has is is known for its its power to heal. Yeah. Um, what do you think about that? Do you believe in that? Yeah, I sure do. I sure do believe in that. How come? What what's what is it that's so powerful about that for you? Mm, I don't know exact words to tell you how to tell you about it. No? When you when you touch the, the holy dirt. The holy dirt. Um, there's powers there. There's powers there. You'll feel it. Do people come here? Give me a sense. Do people come here who are sick, who are achy, who are ailing? Tell me who comes and how does this place help them? Oh, a lot of people come come here to get healed. They believe in it. Oh. Great, thank you. You're what welcome. Is your name? My name is Floyd. How do you spell that? F L O I D. And your last name, Floyd? Leiba. How do you spell that? L E Y B A. Floyd, thank you so much. Thank you. Great to meet you. People who, you know, Got nice healthy lungs and don't do that. I think they take advantage of it and all that. And the thing about it is, this is synchronizing that God had died on the cross for our sins. He didn't even do a crime. And we think, I feel that we owe it to that man. So let me ask you, uh, you know. My father is the one that did this uh, flagstone work back in 1992 or 90. Really? He did wow. it. So let me ask you this. You, um, without knowing you well, I, I can just tell you, you've got some oxygen some to help you breathe. Is yes. You, um, some health problems, perhaps? Yes, I suffered from bronchitis, and then I went to double pneumonia, and my lungs never healed. So how does coming to a place like this... It brings me very good peace because I walk for my family, my mom, my aunts, my uncle from Colorado, and, you know, I walk for a lot of them. I walk for the souls that have lost, that have gone to be in heaven and all that. But mostly for the peace in the United States, you know, and now we're going to another war. And what about, do you come here, do you feel a sense of you healing, you feeling better, you getting that sense of it? I, I feel that in my heart between me and God. And I feel that God uh, has always been there no matter what, you know. People turn around and some people take this as a joke and nobody walks serious praying and other people just cruise up and down and I think, you know, in my opinion, you're supposed to walk to to pray that you ask God for your forgiveness, you know, and that way he can be there. Will you be praying for your health? Yes, and thank you folks for coming down to recognizing Chimayo, you know, and, and for those people that, a lot of the rumors, of rumors going around about that gentleman, you know, you think you, you should stop and think, you know, if, if God wants this to happen, it'll happen, but just don't oh, believe rumors that happen, you know, I mean, it's... Let me ask you, do you, what makes you believe in the sense that this place can heal you? Um, I believe that it can heal in tremendous ways. I believe that it can help, you know, everybody and all that. I believe that you... You have to believe in order to, and all that. You gotta meet God halfway, so he, he'll know.
Thank you so much. What is your name? Daniel Espinosa. How do you spell that? D A N I E L E S P I N O Z A. What? I don't think I'll get a signal, honey. Maybe I can say, okay, three, two. Legend has it this place has the power to heal, and that's why so many people come, light candles, and pray for their health and safety. For example, one man walked all the way from Española with an oxygen tank. Thank you, guys. Okay, thank you, you were fab. Okay. Three, two. We have seen so many people walk through these doors from little kids here for the first time and just met an 81 year old man who's been walking his whole life and still is all here for the same reason to feel closer to God on this holy day. Reporting in Chimayo, Alana Greenfogel, KOAT Action 7 News. Okay, go. Ready? We have seen so many people walk through these doors today from little kids here for the first time. Just met an 81 year old man who's been walking his whole life and still is all here for the same reason to feel closer to God on this holy day. Reporting in Shimayo, Alana Greenfogel, KOET Action 7 News.